Today I've got some other yellow grid material to show you. And what do we have here? We've got an acute triangle. Could we easily calculate the area of this right now? No. Look, we've got all these squares that are cut off. But here I have another equivalent triangle. So watch if we do something like this. Could we find the area of this figure now? We sure can. We've got a base of 10 and a height of 10. So that would be 100 units squared. But wait a second. Do we want to find the area of this whole thing? We just wanted to find the area of this. Oh, but it's, it's like we're finding the area of two of them. So we could just divide that in half. We could just divide the base times the height by two and get the area of just one triangle. So if the base times the height here, if our 10 times 10 gave us 100 uh, square units and we only wanted to find half of that, then the area of this triangle would be 50 units squared. So when we did this work, let's take a look again. What happened? What happened to the base of the triangle when we, when we added that other triangle to it? It stayed the same. What about the height of the triangle? Did anything change when we did this? No, it stayed the same. So the only thing that we did is that we actually doubled the triangle so that we needed to take the base times the height, and then divide it by two. I wonder if you could do this with some other triangles. 